everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. I just released a video showcasing the new NetGate 6100 firewall. We're going to be using that instead of my Unify Dream Machine Pro. The Unify Dream Machine Pro will still be used in my lab and I'll still be making videos on it. I think the Dream Machine Pro is great for small businesses and for home users that don't require advanced routing. One of the main reasons that I'm going to be switching over to the NetGate 6100 and using PFSense is due to a known issue in the UDM Pro using PPPoE. So I have a one gig service that comes in and using PPPoE only gives me about 600 megabits per second download. So I wanna get the full speed of what I'm promised by my ISP. So we're gonna switch over to the NetGate. Also the VPNs are a little more stable on PFSense. So that's another reason that we're switching over. In this video, we'll be creating the networks in PFSense and then we'll be pushing all my unified devices to my Hostify cloud network controller for Unify. We'll also need to create all the VLAN only networks within my Unify controller. We're going to leave the firewall rules for another video, but we will give the networks internet access. This will be a pretty big process as I have about seven networks in my home office. Before we get started, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's go over the network topology. I do have a few more devices in here, like the UNVR and the RPS system, but this is just showing my switching infrastructure as well as my firewall. So at the top, we have our internet, and then it goes down to my UDM Pro. We're gonna be taking the UDM Pro out and then replacing it with the NetGate 6100. This is gonna to connect to my USW Pro aggregation switch, and that will connect to all my other switches. So my Unify Enterprise switch, the 16 light PoE switch, and then the new USW XG switch. And then off all these switches, we have our clients such as cameras and computers, TVs, things like that. So if we scroll down, this is the networks that we need to have configured. We have our LAN at 192.168.10.1 slash 24. I have a Hike Vision camera network and we need to block this complete internet access. I don't want my Hike Vision cameras reaching out. And that network's on the 192.168.111.1 slash 24 VLAN 111. We have Mac Telecom Access, which will be used for my Unify Access Control. And it's on 192.168.70.1 on VLAN 70. We have my Mac Telecom Camera Network, which is on 192.168.40.1 slash 24 on VLAN 40. And then we have my Guest Network on 192.168.20.1 slash 24 VLAN 20. We have an IoT network, which is sitting on 192.168.30.1 on VLAN 30. And then we just have another network on 192.168.60.1 VLAN 60. So first we'll create the VLAN only networks in my Unify controller. I'm using Hostify and I'll put a link down below to the Hostify website. It's a great service. So this is my Hostify controller. If we go down to the devices, I have no devices currently attached to this, but we can pre-configure our VLAN only networks. I'll click on the settings wheel and then we'll go to networks. The first one we'll create is our Hike Vision network, which is on VLAN 111. So we'll create new network. We'll get it a name of Hike Vision, and then we'll have it going VLAN only. Here it's gonna get a VLAN of 111, and we'll press save. Now we have to do that for all my other networks. So I know what IoT VLAN is. We'll call it IoT VLAN only, and it will be on VLAN 30. My guest VLAN is 20, so we'll click on VLAN only and then put it to VLAN 20. We need to configure my camera network, so we'll call it camera, VLAN 40. And now we need to do access, which is VLAN 70. And the last one is called queen, and then we'll put that on VLAN 60. Now we've created our VLAN only networks and our wireless networks. We need to set up our NetGate 6100. I've already connected it to my WAN, so we have internet access. And you can see here we have the uplink to my switch, which is in 192.168.10.1. Let's click on that. This physical interface is plugging into my USW aggregation pro switch. All I did was enable the interface and then I called it uplink to switch. It's a static IPv4 address. And then we gave it this IP 192.168.10.1 slash 24 and I press save. After that, we created a DHCP server for it which you go under services and then DHCP server. This will list all your DHCP servers. I went to uplink to switch and then we enabled it. And then we gave it the DHCP range of 
192.168.10 to 192.168.10.200. We have internet access, but we don't have any of my Unify devices in my Unify controller. If we go back to my NetGate 6100 and look under status and then DHCP leases, it's only going to show us the uplink to switch right now. That's because the Unify devices still have their old DHCP lease. If we open up Advanced IP Scanner, we could scan from 192.168.10.1 to 254. All right, and here are all the devices on the 10 network currently. We have a Raspberry Pi, then we have my U6 LR, we have a camera switch, and then these are probably other Ubiquiti devices. So now we need to push them over to my new controller using the set inform command. So we'll open up a PuTTY session. And the first one I'll do is the U6LR. So we know the IP is 192.168.10.179 and we'll press open. We're going to accept. And now it's asking us for a username and password. You can find this username and password on your network controller. You go to your network controller and go to settings, go to site, and then scroll down. You'll see your username and password under the device authentication. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my username and password. And now we're into the command line of our U6LR. So what we need to do, we need to set inform to our new controller IP address. If your controller is on 192.168.10.100, we would do set inform http colon slash slash 192.168.10.100 colon 8080 slash inform. And then we would press enter and this will push us to the new controller. I'm gonna put in my IP address and then we'll see it go into our controller. Okay, and we can see the U6LR in the new controller. I also pushed over my Unify switch aggregation. So I need to push every other Unify device to this controller and then we'll create our VLANs in our PFSense firewall. Now all our Ubiquiti devices are adopted into our new Unify controller, and it's gonna take all the wireless SSIDs that we created. So if we look at my Office AP, which is my U6LR, we can see that we have Dolores and the Mac Telecom Guest. Those are the only Wi-Fi SSIDs that I've created so far. If we tried to connect to both of those, it still wouldn't work because we haven't created the VLANs in PFSense. PFSense will also be handling the DNS and the DHCP. So let's go over to the PFSense and create our VLANs. So in PFSense, we need to click on interfaces and then go to assignments. Under assignments, we can see VLANs. The first VLAN I'll create is the Hike Vision VLAN of 111. So we'll go down to VLAN tag and go 111. And then the parent interface is going to be the fiber connection between my PFSense and my Aggregation Switch Pro, which is IX0 or OP2 and then we could give it a description. I'll call it Hike Vision, and then we'll press save. Now, if we go to interface assignments, we could see available network ports. If we click on the down arrow, we could see VLAN 111, and then we'll press add. So VLAN 111 has been added and it's called OP7. We'll click on OP7 and we'll give it a new name. I'll call it Hike Vision again. We're going to enable the interface and then we're going to give it an IPv4 configuration type of static. The static IP address range we're going to give this is 192.168.111.1 and then we're going to change it to slash 24 and press save. And then we'll apply the changes. Another thing we need to do, we need to create the DHCP server for this network. So we'll go to services, DHCP server and go to hike vision. We're going to enable the DHCP server, scroll down and then put in a range. I'll give it a range of 192.168.111.10 to 192.168.111.220 and then we'll press save. Now the Hype Vision network has been created, we need to add all the other ones. So I'll add next my camera network. We'll go back to the PFSense firewall. We'll go to interfaces, assignments, and then VLANs. We'll add a new VLAN and we'll do it under the same interface. This is going to be acting as a trunk. The VLAN ID for our cameras is 40. And then we'll give it a description of cameras and press save. We'll go back to the interface assignments and then we'll select the network from the list cameras and then we'll press add. It added it as opt eight and we'll call this cameras and we'll enable the interface. We'll set the IPv4 address to static and give it an IP address of 192.168.40.1 and then slash 24 and press save. For this, we also need to create our DHCP server. So we'll go to services and then we'll go to DHCP server. We'll go to cameras, we'll enable it, 
and then we'll give it a range of 192.168.40.10 to 192.168.40.220 and go down and press save. I'm going to create the rest of the networks and then we'll come back and give them some firewall rules just so they could have internet access. Now all of our networks have been created. We have our LAN, we have our uplink to switch, hike vision cameras, access guest, IoT, and queen. So if I were to connect to the Dolores Wi-Fi, which is my IoT Wi-Fi, we still won't be able to reach the internet. And that's because we don't have any firewall rules in place for that. So I'll show you that we can't reach right now. So I'll connect to Dolores and then I'll disable my ethernet adapter. We could see that my Wi-Fi adapter is getting an IP address of 192.168.30.64. But if we try to ping google.ca, it won't go out. Now we need to add some firewall rules. So we're just going to add very basic firewall rules to allow these networks internet access. We'll go to firewall and then we'll go to rules. We have all of our networks across. We'll go to IoT, which is the one that the Dolores Wi-Fi is connected to, and we'll press add. We're just going to set an any any rule for now. So we're going to pass. It's going to be the IoT interface IPv4 and the protocol will be any. The source and destination will also be any any and we'll press save. We'll apply the changes. And now if we retry to connect to that Wi-Fi internet, we should be able to get out. Now the rules in place, I'll type IP config. We can see we're getting an IP address of 192.168.30.64. I'll ping google.ca and we're able to reach google.ca. We need to do the same thing for these other networks that we want to access the internet. For hike vision, we're gonna leave it as is. I don't want this to access the internet, but for my cameras, access, and guests, we will want that. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into firewall rules. Since I didn't do a backup and restore on my Unify network controller, we need to tag the ports to their VLANs. So if we look at one of my switches, the enterprise switch say, we'd see all of the ports are still in the all profile, which means that it's a trunk port. I need to switch my UNVR to the camera network as well as all my cameras. So my UNVR is sitting on SFP plus port 26. We need to edit the profile and I'm gonna give it a name of UNVR. And then we need to switch the switch port profile to the camera network and press apply. I also know on my enterprise switch that these 100 megabit links are both cameras. So we'll click on ports. We'll click on the ports and then we'll put them into the correct port profile, which is cameras and press apply. I'll do the same for the other one, put it in the camera network and we'll press apply. And if we want this to grab an IP quicker, we could always power cycle the port. We have a couple more cameras that need to be put in the right VLAN. This is my garage switch and it has all cameras connected to it. So we'll go to ports and then we'll click on all four ports and edit selected. Here we'll switch it to the camera profile and press apply. I'm going to power cycle each one of these ports. And they should get an IP out of the camera network. So that's it for this video. We've completely taken out the UDM Pro and we now have all of our Ubiquiti gear on our Hostify controller. Our PFSense is doing all of our networks, all of our VLANs, all of our DHCP and DNS. It's also doing our firewall rules. We're going to be integrating the IDS IPS system with NPF Sense, and that will be done in another video. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.